Hello you guys, welcome back to my absolute channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Just kidding. Unfortunately, you cannot get rid of me that easily, but today we are back. We are back with another fun and fresh vlog. It is currently 10 o'clock. I just have been out in the sun. I was like doing a little bit of tanning and now I am starting to get ready for the gym. Hoping that by, I want to be at the gym by 11 and I'm hoping that the, it's not going to be busy. I'm hoping there's going to be no one there. Surely it's the middle of the day. Go and do something with your life while you're at the gym. So surely I can film a few bits here and there. That is what I've been trying to do for the past few weeks. But it's just always busy all the time. I hate my gym. But yeah, first things first, we need to pick an absolute outfit. So I'm thinking either a grey booty short or a purple. I feel like they could be safe options. Ignore my room. I know it's messy, but I didn't ask and it's none of your business. We have gone with the purple navigation shorts. Absolute fit check. Thanks so much. I feel like the navigation shorts are one of my favourite pair of gym shorts because they're so comfy. They're seamless, which I really like. So you don't have to worry about an odd scrunch bum because some of the scrunch bums are just odd. And I look like shit. Also looking extremely pale. Not me just spending an hour in the sun and still being like wider than my wall. <laughs> I am feeling so pumped for the absolute gym. Also, seriously, I have this pimple on my back. It is quite literally the size of a mountain. It is huge. It is so embarrassing. If anyone has any tips like back acne, literally let me know because it's killing me. Like Anyway, we're going to the absolute gym. And because of that, I need to put on an absolute banger. <laughs> Anyway, time to get those absolute gains. I got in trouble for filming. I filmed two exercises and then I got in trouble, which is super weird. They keep changing their rules. Hannah Pearson and Avalon were also there. Absolute iconic fitness influencers. They were there and I was talking to them. They also got in trouble. And apparently they keep changing their rules, which is it's not cool guys, which is really just not fun. So I'm going to have to find another gym to fill my content in. They told me to, the girls were telling me to go to Bundle. Apparently that's a good place to film no one cares it's really accepted filming there so i might try there and then also i guess i'm just gonna have to come after hours which is really inconvenient and kind of late but we're gonna do what i absolutely gotta do because i do have a really exciting announcement in relation to a partnership that i have now with a brand which means i have to film more fitness content so i kind of have to it's part of my contract sorry it is hot in here just give me a second Anyway, yeah, I did have a really good workout. I really wanted to film the whole thing, um, but he was kind of passive aggressive with me. But I am seriously sweating. Oh! Wow, I look tragic. The seat is wet. My face is dripping. I need to go home. I need to eat. And I need to get in the aircon. Good morning. It is the next absolute day. I am getting ready to go Christmas shopping with my mum. We're going to Rabina. Here's the plan. I need to get my boyfriend's mum a gift. I need to get my boyfriend's dad a gift. I need to finish off my boyfriend's gift and I need to get some stuff for myself. But let's do an absolute fit check. I'm loving my outfit today. This new shirt is actually from Kmart. Seven bucks. This is today's outfit. It is super casual, but it is really cute and it's so comfy. So this shirt is ribbed. It's their seven dollar. They've got these seven dollar tank tops, and they are the best. I've got a black and a red one now, so I'm gonna get every color. Thanks so much. Shopping, and then I'm going to give you a haul of everything I got. Oh my god, you guys. So the background is so messy, but this is the only place I want to sit right now. So we're going to deal with it. We got to the shops at nine thirty. We got home at 3 o'clock. It was a really big day, but we basically got everything done. All of Christmas shopping, done. I got my boyfriend's mum her gift. I just got her a box of chocolates and then some Lush body wash. This smells 
amazing and then I got myself some niacinamide serum from The Ordinary apparently it's really good I've been wanting to try it. it's only $10 so I was like if I don't like it it's okay because it's not like I spent a big chunk of money I also went into Glassons and I got myself a bikini I have been wanting a new bikini for a really long time all my bikinis are so old and they're just really boring so I got this bikini top with straps and I like how it's got the underwiring. This tends to be quite flattering on my small chest, so I do like to go for bikinis like that. I got this cheeky bottom to go with it. These types of bottoms are the best. They're thick, so they're super flattering, and they also stay up. But yeah, that was my Christmas shopping. I'm so excited. I'm getting ready to leave for work. I actually need to leave like now for an hour and a half hour shift and then I'm going to go to the gym. My skin is just so shit. I know from a distance right now you probably can't tell but it's up close even. I don't know if you can tell. It's just super textured and I have all these white spots around here i'm of the belief it's milia and i have them all under my eyes and i can't pop them and when you try to pop them i don't know if you can see but they go really really red for like multiple days because you think it's ready to pop and then it's not and you just like leave a red mark on your face so like i just want to die my skin is my biggest insecurity in the fact that i just don't know how my, like i'm doing my skincare but my skin is not caring I just want to feel comfortable and happy within my skin and I just have never experienced that in my 21 years of living. I just finished work and not gonna lie I'm kind of in a pissy mood. So I was meant to finish at 1.30 and then she extended my shift till 2.30 because she needed me to take photos of Ula. So okay but then that took me an extra that took an extra 10 minutes so I actually stayed till 10 past two and had to take one of their orders to the post office which took me another 20 minutes so technically i worked an extra hour i didn't get a break for that so i worked five and a half hours no break a peak hour at the gym so i'm not going to be able to film because there's going to be a ridiculous amount of people as well as the fact that i'm just pissed off now and i don't want to film when you're in that mood where everything is irritating you that's me right now it's also so hot also i'm taking mango oxy shred this is the best flavor i've tried so far loving it no i'm actually pissed off hey but anyway i'm going to the gym going to have my pre-workout and hopefully i'm going to feel better afterwards okay workout is done i'm feeling a better way um literally look at my traps what's going on where have these come from? I just train my upper body. I do a back and buys day and then I do a shoulders and chest day. And I've just discovered these. Anyway, I thought it is time to share with you guys the most exciting news of my life. I am officially an EHP Labs athlete. Ugh. I felt like I was being pranked. Couldn't believe it. I am officially one of their athletes, which is just so exciting. If you guys follow me on TikTok especially, you know that I've been using OxyShred for months and months. I'm the biggest EHP Labs lover, so this is just a dream come true. As no, I love my OxyShred, so this is just perfect. I am going to be posting most of my ehp content fitness content over on my tiktok and instagram so if you want to see more of that it's just at kili pedjavik for both of them this is just the best news ever so you're going to be seeing a lot more fitness content from me over on my other social medias i'm definitely going to drop it in here as well because that's the whole that's my whole thing literally the best news ever to like dedicate days to go to the gym and film which is what I was planning on doing anyway but I'm really gonna have to plan out what times to come because it is really scary filming in the gym I don't know how Hannah Pearson does it I'm going to show you my new our new puppy Hugo he has arrived to the Pedrovic family so I'll introduce you to him 
This is Hugo. We have so many animals. It's literally a farm at my house. Huge's little French bulldog. Look what you see. He's a moody. 